it's still a seven point gap that's huge at this stage oh what an error from Z he will live to regret that that is the kind of error that he will sleep on tonight if he ever gets to sleep he will think oh my goodness how did I miss that it's 16-8 was it three rallies ago or four rallies ago where he missed a similar one and you made the comment about, you know, that was anxiety and that has just confirmed it. He is very uptight. Wow. Big hit there from Guo to seal the point and force the error but uh, it's still a seven point gap every time you get the serve right now the opposition are edging closer that's the problem with this position for China they've got to keep winning every point They won't do it like this. Oh, my goodness. That's the first one we've seen Zachary really, really mess up. He was in great shape again. Now, this is going to be significant. Another couple of points. And that confidence can be oozing. And here's the gamesmanship. Once again, one player wants to change the shuffle. The other says no umpire having to make the decision Guo against Firuzi's one Firuz defends so well look at him ah oh. Zachary misses two in a row. 11-16, the pressure is back on Malaysia a little bit. They've still got a big cushion, but China have picked up three in a row there. Surely the shoe couldn't, shouldn't come off that easily and quickly, should it? Just a moment, soccer players for losing their boot. <laughs> Trying to delay just a little bit, getting the Malaysians having to think about uh, what is unfolding here. From a position of huge comfort, it's just ordinarily comfortable at the moment at the 11 16 for Malaysia. Well left. Ooh. He was so tempted to take that. Great stuff, Malaysia. They have to... Oh, no! How many times, Zachary? That's three times, Jill. Yes, it is. And interestingly, the last time he made an error on the smash, he looked at his racket. He's done so again. He hasn't broken any strings, but I'm surprised that he's not gone to the side and changed it. It's obviously bothering him. He keeps looking down yeah. at the racket. You, you made the point earlier that it's hard to actually win when you're in a winning position. Yeah, it is sometimes. He makes amends. It's 18-12. And the overture is no doubt in favour of the Malaysians at the moment. And he is going to have a towel. Well, it's a towel down rather than the change of racket. But uh, he only needs to be successful three more times with that smash. And Malaysia will fourth a fifth match Ooh, are they happy nothing to yawn about is it 
Well, maybe Lee Yongbo has been having some sleepless nights, especially after his Uba Cup team struggled so desperately in that quarterfinal against the Netherlands. It's tough at the top. Malaysia want to know what it's like at the top. And a snatch from Guo Zhendong means it's 19-12 now. And the Malaysian duo have to be home and hosed. I'm absolutely certain they will take this tie. They've looked the better throughout. They've certainly been the more positive, better attitude. They have the luxury of being able to do that another six occasions and still have a chance. They won't need to, I'm sure. It's 13-19. Zachary on the fire and he does a brilliant drop for match point at 2013 the Malaysians will be jumping with joy all around at the moment and I've got my RTM commentator right next to me at the moment he's jumping around he knows that something special is about to unfold what a battle here in Jakarta Malaysia fighting for their lives at 2-1 down in matches now have a chance to force the fifth not yet at 14-20 surely we can't expect a miracle one game to love down and 14-20 down the Chinese are not going to come back from this Wow. Fourteen twenty. Match point. Malaysia. Fifteen twenty. Match point. Malaysia. We haven't got it on screen, but there was a little high five. Just delaying things from the Malaysians. And that has to be it. It is. <laughs> they go to ground. They celebrate. It's a 21-15 victory in the second after taking the first 21-17. That is a famous, famous victory for Mohamed Zakri Abdul Latif. And Mohamed Fairuzi's one. Mohamed Tazari. How Brilliant was that. That is a stunning, stunning victory. 21-17, 21-15. It will go to a fifth. Chen Jin and Hafiz Hashim Mohammed will battle out for a chance of a place in the final of the Thomas Cup here in Jakarta. Come on, Jill. Tell us what you think. Absolutely amazing. The attitude with which the Malaysian pair came out, you cannot fault at all. I was disappointed in the way the Malaysian first men's doubles pair came out. They seemed tentative when I felt they should be piling on the pressure. But this younger pair, less experienced, but my goodness, they played the perfect match today. Tactically, they were very sound. But the thing that really impressed me was their attitude. Attitude is everything. And look at that celebration. The smiles are broad. And so they should be. My goodness, there is life in Malaysia and the badminton world at the moment. It's all hanging on one more match. Chen Jin, Hafiz Hashim, coming up in just a while.